Hello, chat. Hello, Marlo, Danny, Dtrev, JVDK, Rye, Transit Biker. Um, is that the third time they've just repeated that? Let me look. They posted five messages. Um, yeah, if they post that one more time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so lay off the caps. Lay off repeating the same messages and lay off the caps, please. And he's gone. <laughs> anyway, uh, hello, Robert. SD. Who else we had in here? Uh, Beller. I see you there. John. How am I doing today after yesterday's fun? Uh, what fun did we have yesterday? The camera isn't messed up, but it's turned a little bit. I guess I'm missing something. Oh yeah, Twitch um, during like the startup of the stream decided to restart my stream. I guess their ingest server. Oh, the copyright thing. Yeah, I guess their insert ingest server where I upload my live stream to, so like you guys can watch it. Rebooted or I don't know what happened, but yeah, I was live for about six minutes and all of a sudden I was dropping frames. I was like, what the heck? My internet didn't go down. But yeah, and then it came back up like a minute later, so. Ray Trek just resubscribed for 64 months. Yo, X-Ray Trek, welcome back, my dude. That's a full stack of months. And thanks for dropping a tier three support. Appreciate you. Yeah, so yesterday, well, I guess it started Wednesday. Started getting copyright claims. Ugh, I love content creation. Adding music to videos that go on YouTube is like the worst thing ever because you can do everything in your power to make sure you do it right. You're not stealing music, you like get yourself a license, you pay for that license, you use the music, you make sure you're using songs that are YouTube viable or whatever. And no matter how good you are, inevitably, you're gonna get copyright claims on said music, whether or not they're accurate or not, whether or not you're in the right or not, you're still gonna get copyright claims and it's still on you to dispute those copyright claims. And like ever since Wednesday night, I think I've had over 70 now copyright claims on my YouTube archive channel where I upload these live streams to on YouTube because of the background music you're listening to here. And of course, like, I would say 97% of all of the copyright claims that have come my way have all been errors. Um, there was a point in time when I think I was streaming Modern Sky Block 2 where we were streaming music from a different service called pretzel.rocks. And I was using music that said it was YouTube friendly or whatever. There was like a little check. There was like streamer playlist. And then there was like a little checkbox to make sure you're streaming YouTube approved or friendly music or whatever. And I clicked that, but it's still inevitably I get copyright claims against those tracks from those VODs. So I've just, I think I just muted those sections. Like when those come in, I just don't even care to fight that. But all the monster cat stuff, I know I'm in the right. The problem is. Like label or bands will sign up with Monster Cat. They'll they'll release music through Monster Cat. Monster Cat will license that music for people like me who have Monster Cat Gold to listen to and stream and do whatever I want. And then years later, those bands leave Monster Cat and they sign with a different label. Now that different label is like, oh, I'm gonna put all of your backlog music on my thing. So if people use those songs on YouTube. We can claim and collect their revenue, even though like those songs were released under Monster Cat. 
and not while they were under this other label. And there's no way they can collect revenue because it still falls under Monster Cat's license. Like, it's just, it's a headache. I hate, I hate, I hate copyright crap as part of content creation. It is just like the worst. Having to deal with the disputes. It's like 20 plus seconds per dispute. And like these disputes that I was getting, like I said, I've I had to do like 70 of them since like Wednesday night. It's just so much time waste and so much just like, I, I'd rather be doing so many other things. You gotta create your own music? No, I'm sure I get copyright claims against my own music. Nods had aggressively in agreement. Thank you. <laughs> it's just one of the, the bad things about being a content creator, unfortunately. It just sucks, but it's part of the job. I could be like some content creators and just have like zero music. Like this could be our stream. But it is very quiet, so I don't do that. No music feels weird. I agree. Just like any other job has its downsides. Yeah, except the one of the worst problems with this job is there is literally nobody at YouTube that I can call or email and say, hey, this is a problem. It's like having a boss. You work for a job with a boss who you can't contact ever. So you just got to figure everything out everything out on your own uh alamite we need to make this stuff i think i had one ingot remaining and we need to repair tools and stuff so we're gonna make a little bit of this stuff we have to come or we have to make the dust and then smelt it if i remember right unless we upgrade to a different material but for right now we're just going to continue with this uh so that's aluminum, which we have so much of now. Let's do let's do eight recipes. So we'll get a full stack of alamite. So what's five times eight, everybody? Quick maths. Five times eight. Is that 40? Because I think that's 40. Uh whoop. Pretty sure it's 40. Yeah. Yeah, eight times ten is eighty. Five is half of 10, so that would be 40. Quick maths. I don't know how other people solve math problems, but that's usually kind of how I do it. It's like nine times something. Well, what's 10 times something? Subtract nine, <laughs> whatever. Like I, I kind of think about it that way. I don't like have everything memorized. Is that a weird way to do math? It might be. Maybe that's why I'm not good at it. So we only have five obsidian. Mm. It was two obsidian, so I need 16. So what do we do to get a whole bunch of ingots out of this? Do we grind it or did we put it through the alloy smelter? There's a way we make obsidian ingots. And I, we do it so infrequently. Here we go. So one piece of obsidian and an ingot mold gets nine of those. This is probably like the fourth time this series that we've had to do this. Like I've done it so infrequently I forget. We'll do two. Okay. So I needed 16. Macerator. Oh, that doesn't do all of them. How fast does this do it? Oh, it's very fast. I think I'm surprised every time I do that by how fast it is. 
I think I've like looked every time and still have been surprised every time. <laughs> oh, we already had some. All right. Well, that's fine. So we have the obsidian, we have the aluminum. And then, oh, it was a steel. I made steel plates, didn't I? I was supposed to make steel dust. Can I grind these into dust? I hope so. I mean, that's still relatively quick. Four seconds. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. And there we go. So there's a stack of this stuff, and we just smelt this normally? I think so. All right. Into the Furni. Into the Furni. Kind of wish there was a overclocker for this or some way to speed this machine up. It's nice. But it's not quick. I think we're just going to take this and just ignore the rest of it. We are still okay on water, right? The last time we looked at this, we didn't have any water in these tanks. But yes, we are now starting to collect a little bit of water in at least one tank. This floor needs to get fixed. Oh my goodness. We were in such a frantic mode last live stream to like make sure our boiler didn't run out of water. I just tore up the floor slam these things down and just left it this place is disgusting so it looks like we are only getting water right here <laughs> okay vampian just resubscribed for 84 months vampire 11 love 84 month hype yo vampian welcome back thank you for the 84 glad to see you dude uh I'm taking that bucket of water too. Because I don't have a bucket of water anymore. It's mine. Uh I don't have a wrench in me. I was gonna wrench that stuff away. I mean honestly. This pipe should come up from right here, I think. And then we can get rid of all of this. We'll probably make that change here in a little bit. Um, what was I doing? I think we were just going to repair our tools is what we were doing. This and this. This and this. And this and this. Even though it's a little bit wasteful, it is fine. We got nearly a stack of this stuff being made now. Do you need to find a place to pump more water or is it fixable? Well, we are now making enough water to supply our boiler and we're making a slight excess. I don't know how much excess we're making, but we really need to do is instead of having all of those water tanks go into pipes and then go directly into the boiler. We need to have all those water tanks go into a centralized water collection tank. And then that tank needs to go to the boiler. That way we can see like how much reserve water we have. And then use that reserve water for other things, etc. That's what we need to do. I think we're going to go fix that floor down there. And I was almost thinking that we should lower that floor. So instead of only three blocks high we should have at least five blocks so i think we're gonna lower the floor down there and then like actually make it nice so that is what we are about to work on uh last stream we were also checking out the bonsai stuff so we could get wood tired of hitting my head well that and uh it just needs more room down there 
So like all these tanks are gonna have to be moved and stuff eventually, but for right now, yeah, I just want to lower this all down two more blocks so we have a little bit more room down here. I don't think this is ever going to be like an operational floor. I think this is always just going to be like a behind the scenes kind of area. So I guess first things first, we should get rid of all the stuff that isn't mission critical. Lower all of this, and then we'll lower the stuff that like actually matters. Like the multi blocks and stuff for the water. I don't have this on me. Now I do. Now you're gonna figure out lurking for real? No, 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 no. You can't lurk here. You have to be here and talk. Imagine coming to my channel and lurking. What the heck? That's weird. Well, gotta go then? No, 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 no. There's no going. You are here forever now. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. I guess one good thing about having that thing there is like we don't have to worry about monsters down here in these caves now. I think that was a thing that we had to deal with previously. Okay, that's all done. Glue them to those screens, that's right. You are not allowed to have a life. Once you start watching my stream, that's the only thing you're allowed to do from then on. While I'm live anyway. When I'm not live, you're free. When I am live, oh, you better watch out. my favorite song. I like this one. I guess I don't need this stuff on me. Your OCD is screaming that the floor should be six blocks? Well, I mean, we will be replacing the bottom layer with like something that looks better than just stone. Right now, I'm just digging out the actual space that we're gonna be existing in. 
Mr. Underscore Nightmare Underscore just resubscribed for 51 months. Happy Friday. You know what? Hi, Bill, Lil, hi, Why am heart. I doing that? I have a bag that I can put all of this stuff in. Literally all of it. We have the technology. Let's use it. Um, Mr. Nightmare, yo, 51 months. Welcome back, dude. Happy Friday to you as well. Torch, torch, torch. Dinner time, you'll probably see me after. Whoa, 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 probably. Whoa. Let's not get crazy here. We will see you after. There's water in that. I don't want to spill that everywhere. I mean, I guess I can get rid of this because this has to be gone anyway. I'm starving. Spicy hypno today? I wouldn't say I'm spicy. I have just the right amount of spice. Sugar and spice and everything nice. That's me. Um. Zoop, zoop. All the deuces. Do the deuce have a home? Nope. What about in here? Yep. Yeah, an elevator is something that we will be doing. We need to make, uh, what is it? Ender pearl blocks or something? Ender pearl, ender pearl plates. We haven't looked at how to do that just yet, but it is something that's in the future. I need to make more of those. I was going to take those down there and just use what we have, but I know I'm going to need more. What is this? That's stone wrapped around nether quartz. Do I have extra stone somewhere? I'm pretty sure I didn't have any in there. Do we have any stone? We have eight stacks. Boom. 56 remainder. How long until sp Space time. You talked about Galactic Craft and all of that stuff? Uh, long time. Do I not have any quartz? What the heck? I'm blind, apparently. Does anybody see my glasses? Bum, 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 bum. Uses. So we forge hammer it, I think, just to get this out for now. Yeah, then doubles. Forge hammer. Have you figured out what the AE2 gates are yet? It's still a while still. I haven't looked. Not there. You really love the look of the floor? Thanks. We need to do something with like the interior walls here. I like what we've done with the hallway walls or I guess like the, the wall between the hallway and the actual rooms. Uh, but yeah, these big blank walls and stuff, we gotta figure that out at some point.
All right. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but it's definitely eight more stacks than we had before. Alrighty. Okay there, Hammer, calm down. I fall down. I don't like it when I fall down, but I fall down. Oh, that is not lowered, is it? Nope, that's a mistake. literally had the right block on the hotbar and then it switched it to the other type. I am out of those blocks now. Two stacks probably is right. I should go to the moon as soon as possible. I should play the game and progress at my own rate as soon as possible is what I should do. I'm sorry I'm not playing the game that like you want me to play it. I forget how slow you move while shifting without swift sneak. I've been so used to it on Hermitcraft. Like trying to sneak around and place blocks like, oh my goodness, you move so slow. This block, that block, that one, this one. One of those, one of these, some of that, some of this. You think Hypno will build a rocket IRL before going to the moon in Greg Tech? You say, is that a challenge? Because it sounds like you might be challenging me. 
Are you threatening me? All right, let's continue our border around. I think when I said we need two stacks of blocks, I might have been mistaken because obviously we don't have enough. <laughs> obviously. Maybe 16 more? Oop. Wow, exactly 16 more. My goodness, I'm amazing. I'm like the best, literally the best. How did you get titanium? We don't have titanium. Why do you think we have titanium? Oh, you're replying to somebody else. My mistake. I'm literally, literally the best hypno. Also, hypno is the most humble man alive. I'm humble with the fact that I am the best. Okay. The main portion of the floor now. Uh, actually, let's repair. to do this kind of in a weird way where we leave the center strip it's fine it's fine in fact i wanted to leave the center strip actually I don't think we're actually doing this. Like that, that should be fine. Whoops. Screwed up. Gotta watch it with this hammer. This thing's like crazy.
All right, Magnet, calm yourself. Uh, Builder's Wand. Oh, I'm out of blocks. I probably should have started smelting more stone in hindsight. I should have done that and I didn't do that. And now I'm wishing I would have done that, but I didn't do that. Actually, we might have enough. It's going to be really tight if we do. I, I really don't think we have enough. Yeah. We are short by a handful of blocks. And then we still have all of this stuff to deal with. Where's Max? Uh, doing cat things in the other room. You're glad the past you did not get into questing mod packs? Well, there's a big range of differences between questing mod packs. Like this one's a questing mod pack, but you could also have a very like remedial pack that's a questing mod pack. I think you might be confusing questing mod packs with like expert mod packs. Maybe. Maybe you just don't like quests. I don't know. Okay, so we need to smelt more stone. I'm gonna do 16 stacks. Okay, so I also wanted to see Oh, that was a mistake. Does this lose water when I do that? No, it keeps it. Right, Railcraft is amazing like that. So we had 10 extra buckets. I was kind of curious if any of these other ones are starting to gain or just that one tank. And it would appear it is just that one tank, okay. So we are just barely on the cusp. Ooh, look at this. I was curious to see like, whoop, how much you get Protect per just harvest. Subscribed for seven months, seven non-consecutive months. Yo, Clutech, welcome back. Thank you for the seven months. Seven months is seven months. That means for seven different times on seven different months you have decided that your prime gaming goes here and i appreciate that we got 10 we just got 10 wood from one harvest which one got harvested that one just got harvested i think maybe we had zero out of that one Another one just got harvested. We got 10. Interesting. So this was an experiment that we set up last stream because I'd never mess with these um, IC2 bonsais before. It takes a long time for them to grow, but it looks like you get 10 up to 10 per harvest, which is fantastic. 
And this guy right here, this crop manager, can do an 11 by 11 area, which means we could have a stupid amount of wood coming in from one of these things. So this is going to move. We're going to find a permanent spot for it. This is just our little test setup. But yeah, that is a pretty good amount of wood. And that farm is passive. Yeah, we love stupid amounts. So ideally what we would do with this farm is we would have the wood coming in go into a chest. And then once that chest fills up, all of the excess gets turned into charcoal and that gets stored. And the charcoal will eventually go into our boiler automatically or whatever. That's what I have in mind for this thing. Um... Well, test successful. I guess we can tear all this down because this isn't like where it's going to stay. We set it up here. Did I get that bonsai back? Oh, do you not get those back? Really? Hmm. What happens if I break the ground? No, they just, they're just gone. 15? Yep. Okay. You just don't get anything back. There's got to be like some special tool you can use, probably like a garden trowel or something. I don't know to like actually remove that stuff, but it's fine. And then I need a wrench to get rid of this thing. You get the item from the crop sticks when it's at its high highest growth stage only. So I have to like disable the the plant manager thing, let them all grow to full and then dig them. Is that the, okay. Seems a little weird, but I'll accept it. This just this once though, just this once. Uh, yep. So that goes into there. Crop. I know I made a bunch of these. Where did I put all the extras? There's some in there. I kind of wish you could see what was in this thing, like just by mousing over it. I guess that would be too convenient. Um, so I needed another half a whoop, over here, half a stack of another quartz. Nope, wrong one. Forge hammer. You get seed bags at lower tiers with a spade. Yeah, I assume there is some way you could dig up the plant and retain the seed without having to have it full. Yeah, GBDK, that's pretty good. The only thing is we saw it harvest some crops and it looked like it, re it got zero. So I assume, oh, I was getting twice the amount. I assume there is um, something there that's not always 100%. Oh, this isn't done yet? The heck? This thing should have been done like 10 years ago. Ain't nobody got time to wait on it. How fast they grow with maxed out stats? No idea. I'm sure it takes like forever for them to grow though. Or not forever for them to grow, but forever for us to get them to the highest stage. throw down some torches randomly in like the very dark spots mobs can't spawn on these blocks but i like the floor actually being illuminated 
Right, so this stuff, we're gonna have to change. And I don't know how much of a problem this is going to cause. Can you extract water out of the top block or does it have to be the bottom? Because we have it all on the bottom right now. I guess we, we go test. Did she yellow it? Weren't you the one saying that I was like freaking out for no reason with the water issue last stream when we only had like six water tanks and like the water was obviously going down. We weren't keeping up. Now you're telling me just to yellow it. <laughs> uh, some people just want to see the world get blowed up. I got the water working again. Yeah, after last stream where we made like five times as many water tanks as what we had previously. We made so many water tanks. Oh my goodness. You admitted your mistake then as well. I did not catch it, but I'll, uh, I'll assume that you are correct. It's all good. Um, Right, I just wanted to see if we can extract water out of the top, but that's not going to be the solution. That's not going to be like the long-term solution. Where is one of these tanks? One of these tanks, some of this pipe. I just want to see if it has to be out of the bottom to extract or if you can be out of the top. Because if it can be out of the bottom, then we can just remove the top two blocks and then place them underneath and then we're good. If it has to be out of the bottom, then we have to like do a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, so we'll place that here, that there. Oh, I didn't bring a freaking wrench. What a noob. This guy acts like he knows how to play Greg tech. Nope. Imagine not bringing a wrench when you're working with pipes. Look at the pipe, it's got inventory. Well, it would appear that you can extract out of the top. So all we have to do Yeah, all we have to do is just remove the top two blocks there, but that means we have to go underneath all these tanks and remove two blocks underneath so I can just uh, destroy them and then replace underneath. And then once that's all done, all the tanks are moved, then we can work on the piping and make that better. Yes, I meant the top block of the multi-block structure, not, not the top face. Sorry if that was confusing. Okay, so... Ooh, that's going to make that even more challenging. Hmm. Can I actually get to a spot where I have a floor that I can stand on, maybe? Okay. Can I use my hammer under here and it won't break the tank? I don't know if it'll break the pipes, though. That's... When you work with 
tinkers, construct, three by threes. It's like, oh, it would break these blocks faster, but it might also break these. Since this is made of wood, it's a different material. I don't know if it would affect the pipes. I'm just gonna play it safe and we're just gonna mine this out manually. Or one block at a time. What would YOLOing entail? Just breaking the actual tank. Each individual one, digging down and then placing it, deleting all of the water contained inside, and also not having water going the entire time. You know what? I guess we can test this. So I'm going to three by three right here. If it deletes this, then we can fix it real quick. The only problem is if it actually deletes that pipe, but I have extras in my inventory in case it does. Okay. So if I do this, it does not delete the pipe. Okay. So we can do this faster. Oh, but it is deleting the tank. Crap. Why is it doing that? That doesn't even make sense. This is made of wood. One block at a time then. The one thing I thought that it would be smart about, and it's not. Tanks are pick, I mean, it's made of wood. It says effective tool X. But it says effective tool axe on the tool tip. A pickaxe three by three should not affect it. I mean, I guess here is fine for us to do. Uh, no, it wouldn't be fine. I'm gonna leave that for now. It's technically not necessary. How many? I'm gonna go put some redstone on this thing. We can, we can do this faster. We have the technology. Ow. I assume we have a hundred redstone. We might not actually have any redstone. We have 42. Great. Um, redstone. This should be enough for what we need to do. Uh, forge hammer. All right, Quarks, we'll catch you later. How are we doing on charcoal? 31 stacks remaining. It's pretty good. 
So that is 80, 91. I need nine more redstone. Do I have water in that bottle? I have something in that bottle. It's a secret. It's a diet fizzy drink of some description. Uh, this one. Okay, so we are two redstone modifiers faster on this pancake. Hopefully it'll suck a lot less now. Hopefully. Instant mine stone, let's go. Now that we're instant mining, I'll go ahead and fix this. Since this will be bothering me. Technically, I guess this means we have a basement for our basement, doesn't it? Oh, I broke. Uh, okay. Stupid gravel? Stop being so stupid, gravel. Gosh. A fake block somewhere? <laughs> Why? Do we go further? No, it looks like this is the end. Well, I'm gonna dig out to there anyway. Now I feel like that the shovel can't instant mine. That's a problem. <laughs> Oh, it might be because I'm hungry. All right, where is my bag? This definitely needs like unbreaking of some sort. Although I'm only like repairing about half durability. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think the next modifiers we put on this thing are gonna be unbreaking. Okay. Well, I guess what we need to do is break the top two layers and then bring them down here. Maybe make like a staircase or something. So this one has like extra. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll leave this one till last. We'll redo all of the other ones. So it'll like pull the extra knees from this tank. Hopefully will be the idea. So if I can just use this hammer, I'll actually save us a little bit of time here. Yep, that's what we want to do. Maybe I'll do like more than one at a time. Get a little crazy. Whoops. make sure everything looks fine up here before we continue on doesn't really look like it took anything out of this tank i think this was at 15 buckets before now it's up to 16 obviously there is like water going somewhere So I do this next whole row. What level is the pick already? I'm moving, yeah, I'm moving all this down because like this basement wasn't set up to have this many water tanks in like the fashion we placed them in. And I kept like hitting my head on like these steam pipes and stuff like that. So yeah, we are adjusting everything down made some more space in here um We're trying to make this area look nice, and right now it looks the opposite of nice. Or at least ideally we want it to look nice. Ooh. 
Lollacree just resubscribed for 22 months. Hi Hypno and chat. Yo! Happy Friday. Lolo! Hype wave, hype heart. Welcome back, dude! Oops. That was a mistake. I guess I can place these torches like I had them upstairs before instead of kind of like the random thing I got going on now. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, this thing still got like 17 buckets in it. So while I'm removing those tanks, I guess it's fine because there's still water in the pipes or whatever. After the day before yesterday, it makes sense that the basement was trashed. Yeah, we were like frantically trying to do everything possible to not run out of water in that boiler. And we left this place a big mess. I guess I should worry about that after we get the water tank set back up. I miss having like just normal pick block available in survival. This mod that I installed to make pick block actually viable in this mod pack is nice, but like a lot of the time it just doesn't do what I want it to do. Okay, so those are all hooked up. I don't think I can get that with that pipe running over top. Okay, so one last row to go. And now I'm down here. Okay then. Wait, why is it returning whole sightings now? What are you talking about?
Chat, could you try to not to confuse the streamer? Thanks. My hammer previously pulped them? What, these? No, it didn't. I always got back the full blocks. What are you talking about? Okay, so just as last water tank now. This is the one that has all of our extra water in it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we just deleted all that extra water. I guess I could have bucketed it into another tank. I really shouldn't be biting my cuticles. I should go get a cuticle clipper. It's bothering me though. Um, whoop, I fall down. I guess we put it in the floor. And then I gotta readjust these pipes. Yeah, I wanted to expand this area down here so like we weren't as cramped. So I'm just moving everything, readjusting. trust that I won't break that machine. How when I'm middle clicking on this, does it like select dust? Like what is that even? That doesn't even make sense.
You back from dinner? How are things going? Pretty good. Uh, we got the floor basically done. We lowered the water tanks. Finishing up the final touches on the floor, and then we got to readjust the piping, and then we will be done. Why? How does it even make sense? Yo, this middle click thing. Oh, now I'm using the wrong blocks. I need more torches to do my torch pattern. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. We need to get rid of this thing. But I don't have any wire cutters on me for that cable. I guess the cable will just stay. But yeah, we're going to end up needing more pipe, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to go like craft up three more crafts worth of these small potent pipes. Potent. No, there's space for more tanks. We made enough so our thing wouldn't blow up. That was what we were going for. Okay, while this bends, I will be right back because I got to take care of this cuticle thing. Be, be right back.
All right, I'm back. What, this isn't done yet? The heck? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I just had to go get my nails did. What does it cost to make a new wire cutter? Um, so three plates, a screw, and two rods? What the heck? Steel screw. That must have been from when we made the previous one. Steel. So I need two rods. Oh, hi, Hypno. Welcome back. Nothing to see here. Please continue. Oh, I will continue. Watch me continue. Continuing right now. To be continued. Considering you've played a lot of Minecraft mod packs, what mod pack would be good for me to play for a somewhat beginner? Um, I would look at something like maybe Sky Factory, one of the newer ones. Yeah, there's the FTB University pack, which is kind of geared for like absolute beginners that's never even seen a mod before. But probably something like Sky Factory or Stone Block. Both of those are pretty pre beginner friendly. I have no idea why I just put that in there when I shift clicked. Oh, I shouldn't be shift clicking anyway. I should just be clicking so I have like, all I want is the outline so I know where things go. A uh, screwdriver file. Okay. I think we good. I think we good. Starving? I feel like I just ate. Am I gonna have to work on more food here soon? Soon. Oh, I'm actually... Okay. That's why it's taking a long time for me to eat. I am out of my beef wellington. So yeah, we should probably restock up everything. We'll do that a little bit later. Not right now. Um... Right, so... I also needed torches. Let me go grab that. St X is Zuma stream stone block? Hmm. I don't remember that. I stream stone block. I know that because I was there when I did it. What was I coming up here for? Gosh, I can't remember back. 10 seconds. What the heck? Thank you. Torches. I don't have any other sticks, do I? Do not think so. Well, we got plenty of wood. Wood isn't a big deal where we can just turn this into sticks, like whatever. That should be enough.
Okay. I mean, I guess I could place torches here where we will inevitably put two more water tanks. Right, so now we deal with the pipe situation. I think the best thing that we could do is figure out like the the best route for these pipes to go and then start doing it not just place them down and then like figure it out later and then be like oh we got to rearrange them again Okay, so if we want the water to come up here, that's going to be this pipe going up. So that would be the shortest distance to its destination. So I think we want everything to flow into here, which means we want these to come up this way to this point and this to come over this way to this point and then come over here. Okay, so let's make that happen first. So everything down this row goes all the way forward until we reach the very last tank and then that comes back towards us. Oh, so that means all these torches that I placed down have to move. And then we won't be able to walk. Oh my goodness. And then we won't be able to walk through here. Um. I didn't think this through. How do we do this? We'd have to do this from up top. So I guess we place all the pipes down and then we remove the ones from up above. We remove the floor and then we finish all the settings that we need from above. Yeah, we need a sub basement for the sub basement's basement. Hmm. I definitely didn't think this part through. Where's the pipes on my hot bar? Well, we we got this figured out because I remember this from when we connected this all before. And then we do one of these and then one of these. OK, 
connect that connect that like this like nope like this yeah because we can't fit there anymore so that's a no walking zone at this point much for, we got a little ways to go yep so I could make more pipes or we can just start disconnecting some of this pipe Oops, no, 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 no. Um How did we do this? This needed to come over this way. I also forgot to be doing this. So this pipe we do that. I can't see. So it all connects to this one here. I'm definitely going to have to just remove the floor between the tanks and do this from up above because it is like impossible for me to see what the heck I am doing right now. Um, so I don't know where all the water is going right now that we have just changed, but I know we are not getting water appropriately to our, to our boiler right now. I mean, it still says it's got full water in there, but that ain't going to last. I know that for sure. Okay. So these are all going over here. We need to set this to make sure it doesn't backflow the wrong way. So that goes that way, that goes that way, that goes this way, that's set, this is set. That is set to go this way. We need to hook this to connect up into there, but that's fine. We'll worry about that a little bit later. The important thing is to get the rest of these pipes. This is wrong right here. So I think that solves the issue. All the water should be flowing back into this pipe as it needed to be. Okay. So I'm going to mark these tanks as done after I connect this up. You 
a pipe here connected to this one like this and this one needs to be connected into this mess as well okay so these two all the way down this row are done should just be able to cover them set it and forget it Then I'm going to mark these just to be double sure. All of these are done. Okay, so now we got to work on this one, which is going to be the exact same thing. So this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I think I can just get rid of these pipes and just work on it from up top. I think. Oh, this wrench is going to break. Crap. Okay, well... Slight delay here. Hopefully it won't be an issue. How do you make a new wrench? This ingots and a hammer. Yeah, every time we come to a junction, I have been trying to set... Trying to set the flow so we don't slosh around. We saw that being a problem last stream. It hadn't been a really a problem until then, so I didn't really worry about it too much before. It definitely became a problem last stream. Maybe I should be doing it like that, too. I don't know how much that really matters. I probably should do it that way, though. So I think we're connecting to this pipe. Oops. So we need to connect. 
I mean, I guess we can do this. And that comes over to here. I think we are good. We're going to have to go upstairs and just verify it, but I think we're good. Okay, so these are connected. That is right. That is right. That is right. This one, this one, and then those two. And those all connect over here to this intersection, so we should be able to get rid of this and this. And all of this nonsense. So all that water flows into here and that is just going up. Now that's connected to multiple blocks, which we can get rid of these extras. And we can get rid of this too. I don't know if it really makes much difference to do this so the water just only ever goes up and never backflows down. Maybe that's something that matters. Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, did chat die? I think everybody is just lurking. <laughs> it happens from time to time. Like when I go into focus mode and it's just like me placing blocks. Yeah, that happens. Everybody's just so engrossed in what I'm doing. Uh, I need more of these blocks. Chat, how is everybody doing? How's your Friday? I guess I can get rid of these extra torches. I don't need these marked anymore. Firehawk 894 just resubscribed for 31 months. Uh, an extra torch. People are just lurking and waiting for a chance to backseat my mistakes. Probably, probably. Firehawk, welcome back, dude. Thank you for the 31 months. I'm guessing none of these are going to get filled yet because all the pipe needs to get filled before these get filled. But it is good to see, like, these pipes are full of water. Yeah, let me verify what I got going on down here. Really don't need these extra torches that I placed there. Something, something, Stargate Healing Axe Piston Boots. All 
right, well, that is done. I need to go get myself a tire iron, crowbar, whatever. There's a water tank not formed? You're a not formed water tank. Which one was not formed? Rude! Formed, 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 No! What? Why not? Why is this ill-formed? Nine blocks. Nine blocks, so why was this not formed? Oops. Now it's formed. That's weird. Very weird. See? Waiting to point out your mistakes. Crowbar. Do I have to get rid of this and then place this and then do this? Boom. Why is there no water in this pipe? What the heck is going on? Okay, what did I screw up? Oh, it's still not connected. Does that prevent this from connecting? Okay, I'm undoing this. Check if the cover is STE to fluid. What does that mean? I thought I used the cover before for this. Oh, the cover has to be set to fluid. Oh, did I know that? Maybe I knew that. So the cover has to be set to fluid. Oh, I have to use a screwdriver on that, don't I? Yeah, I, I knew that. I was just making sure chat was paying attention. I'm trying to get that interaction in chat. Fluids. So now I should be able to do that. I should be able to do... This one?
think we're good. All right, it looks like everything's happy. So with this setup, I could put a water tank right here, one of those super tanks or whatever we have, and then pull directly out of that up into there. Hey, just got here. Did the crop manager work with those bonsais? It did. Yeah, we checked that out uh, earlier. And it looks like we are getting about between zero to 10 logs per harvest. It was either zero or 10. It looked like there was nothing in between. I don't know what the deal with that was, but that's what it looked like. That's gotta be one of the next things that we do is figure out where we're gonna put that thing. Cause that's kind of a big thing. Big. So big. We need an 11 by 11 area. What size is this? I mean, that is 11. We could like put it right here. Do I want to do that or do I want to like make a room upstairs in the base dedicated for it? I feel like I want to make a room upstairs dedicated for it. That seems like one of those things that we want to have like on display and we can walk to and see not down here in like a basement area that's mostly unfinished. I mean, maybe this will turn out to be like another floor of our base that we actually utilize at some point, but not right now. Uh, this is fine. Oh yeah, I can fill this in now. That steam pipe could literally be moved from this side to over here and down. But if we do add in another one of these tanks, I'll probably want it here. So they both feed in and then down. Okay. So. How big is this room? I'm thinking we do another room on the opposite side of here so we have access to that steam or the energy either way. So how far back does this room go? Oh, it goes five blocks. Of course it does. So this would be the first block that would be unaffected. Oh, that's the wall. So this could be the start of the room right here. And then we go 11 blocks this way and then we have no wiggle room. We probably want to have a little bit of block space between the rooms for wiring and pipes and other such things. So we probably want three blocks of space minimum between the rooms. And then this would be the wall and then we go 11 blocks. I think that's probably how we want to do this. Uh, well, the 11 block minimum. I think I probably want to make it 17 by 17. So we have like three blocks of space around the center of it.
Yeah, so 17 by 70. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and then the wall. Whoops. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is gonna be real nice. We're gonna have automatic, automatic wood coming in. That'll be one less thing that we have to do. And then ideally we'll take that wood and auto smelt in the charcoal and then feed that into our boiler. And then we'll be completely automated as far as power goes. Speaking of automated as far as power goes, I should see what our charcoal supply is. Earlier it was down to like 31 stacks of charcoal, I think. No, I guess those blocks don't matter. Those are just gonna get covered up anyway. I guess same for this side. Uh, oh no, I just didn't bring this wall back. Completely automated power in 2023 and Greg take hacks. I say good sir hacks. How am I today Kenshin? I am doing well. How you doing? Hello Bolo. Auto magically smelted charcoal. That is right. Uh, no, we turned off pollution. Pollution is just one of those things that just doesn't really make sense in this pack. So that's the wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the wall. That's right. Okay. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. That's the size that we have. Yeah, five. Now, it might be that I end up making this bigger than 17 by 17, but that's like the minimum size footprint that I want um, for an 11 by 11 crop in there. It could be bigger, but that's the minimum size room that I want for that. Oops.
Right, I gotta make more blocks. You're so bad at making bases in Minecraft. I mean, just keep making bases until you get better at it, right? I don't think that I'm particularly good at base building in Minecraft. Like, I definitely don't have the brain, the eye for detail. I'm more left brain than right brain, whatever. I know how to space things out. And usually spacing things out properly makes the base look so much better, but... Definitely not keen on, like, decorations and things like that. That is not my strong suit by any stretch of the imagination. I guess I can put some of these tools away now. Just dig a hole or leave things in the open on the surface. Lurking in a hypno stream ain't easy. What? You come to my stream to lurk? The heck? Oh. No, don't take my torches. You get those back. Where did those go? We gotta go uh, do some charcoal and I did not, I mean, I'm glad I caught it when I did. I'm glad I caught that when I did, but yeah, we need to go get some charcoal stat. There's a red creeper right there. There's another creeper. Hopefully those creepers just leave me alone. I just need some charcoal. Hello, game. Is not gonna leave me alone. Come on over here, little buddy. Come on. Come on. There's so many creepers on the surface. I see four of them right now. Great. Just set everything on fire. That's just what I need around my base is a grass fire. We good? Can you guys chill? I don't got time to mess with these creepers right now. I need charcoal. I need 20 stacks. Oh my goodness. Now this guy too. And you throw potions. Of course you throw potions. Why wouldn't you throw potions? Come over here where there's like nothing for you to like screw up. I got slowness on me.
Now you're throwing potions of harming? Fire creeper of effing armor? You're dead. I don't know if these creepers realize it, but I'm kind of like on a clock here. Actually, let's put all this in here for now. Dude, how long is this poison? I can't even eat. I can't even eat. Okay. <laughs> Man, I can't wait until we get the better mob preventer thing that just like stops all spawning within like three million blocks of the player Was it MV or HV for the Mega Torch? I think it is HV. This might be one of the last times we have to do this. Not the last time, but one of the last times. We still gotta wait for the tree farm thing to come online and we gotta figure out how we're gonna automate turning into charcoal and all that kind of stuff. One Zyman just resubscribed for four months. Hi, Prairist. Yo! X1 Zyman, welcome back. Thank you for the four month resub. Thanks, dude. Do, 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 do. Definitely not going to miss having to do this, though. Like, this was fun when we first did it and was using the charcoal pit. Now it's just a hassle. Now it's just a thing that we have to do all the time. Nemo just resubscribed for 77 months. Yo, Nemo, welcome back, dude. 
How long was that? 77. My goodness. Those numbers are so big, they just don't mean anything anymore. It's just ridiculous. 77 months. That is a long time. Oh, it just turned off. Literally just turned off right before our eyes. There you go, little buddy. Okay, 24 stacks. Oh, okay, so we have to like camp the charcoal pits. We definitely need to get a stockpile of that stuff. Oh, I got a piston from killing that creeper, I guess. That's nice. Stop making the cave noises. Did I manage to figure out the IC2 crop thing from last stream? Yeah, we just had to wait longer. We took it down because I'm making a room now specifically for it. And then that will allow us to just produce wood automatically. And then we'll take that wood and smelt in the charcoal automatically. And then we'll have essentially automated power. We won't have to worry about that again. But that's our current task right now is we're making a new room over here for the crop manager to be in. So where did my torches go? Did it like, did it consume them? Are these burnable? It doesn't say they're burnable. Is it still in this thing? Is there any way to know? I'm going to break this at some point in the future and get like a stack of torches and be like, where did those come from? The coal does not look like it's flowing into the boiler. Is that true? Oh, you are right. Okay. So it is still blocking. Uh, if I do this, I guess I need a wrench. Is it blood moon? Is it blood mooning? It's blood mooning. Great. All right, well, we got our torches back out. Hello, Door Lord. After a a day of hard work, you can finally get to watch your favorite streamer. Well, welcome. We are in the process of... Well, last stream we were in the process of frantically trying to make sure we were making enough water for our steam boiler. This stream, we went down there and like fixed everything that we did last stream to make it look a little bit nicer. And we are in the process right now of trying to set up a new room to put our crop manager in there so we can get wood automatically. And then smelt down the charcoal and eventually have that feed into our steam boiler automatically so we can be completely hands off. That is our current goal right now. Mm 
Probably gonna need another one of those. If I remember right, yeah, so going into a room is just flat ceiling here, so this is incorrect. I love how everything is just red and orange and like sucks to look at, and that's my favorite part. Why? Do I not have it? Oh, I didn't make any of those blocks today. Enameled wall. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm not sure digging right now, <laughs> digging up this room during the blood moon is the best idea. I don't know what the distance is mobs can spawn to you during it, but I know it's shorter. Okay, we should be fine. It's five blocks mobs can spawn next to you? Holy, that's real short. Yeah, five blocks? That doesn't seem like fun. Uh, what are we down to? Okay. And everything is working fine here. I guess we can go revisit downstairs. See if any of these are starting to gain water in them. Oh, this one is. This has got two buckets. Hmm. So only one tank so far is gathering water. That's kind of where I want this cauldron next to him. But I really want to have a supply of water that we can use that cauldron with. That's why I want to have like a tank set over there that just fills up full of water. And then that's like our main supply. Mm -mm -mm. What does it cost again for the super tank? Can we make like the base one? We need pulsating iron or phased iron. Can we make these pumps? I think we made these last stream. We had to make that to go into something.
Maybe the advanced extractor? So we can make the super tank. Hermetic casing one. Large plastic fluid pipe? How do we make a plastic pipe? So we can't do this until we get into oil. Never mind. Blood Moon over. Plastic is one heck of a rabbit hole. Yeah, that's going to be something that we have to do eventually. I'm definitely going to not make that my main focus to do right now. But yeah, getting into oil and all of that stuff is something that is part of progression. Is the sun coming up or not? It seems like... Why is it all foggy? Is that part of the blood moon? Actually, can I sleep now? Oh, I guess it's technically not night anymore. Has it always been that foggy? I thought our render distance made this all pretty clear. Maybe it's always been foggy in the distance. I don't know. There we weowed. Well, you say polyethylene is really easy, but you have to remember that we have to make all of the machines that goes into making it. Once you have the machines, it's an easy process. Is it all done? Yeah, okay. Well, I know you're supposed to make a whole bunch of machines that are specific for it. That's not the point. The point is somebody saying polyethylene is easy. It's easy once you've already set up the machines. It's not easy when you're trying to get into it. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that. It might be relatively simple once you have the machines compared to other things, but it itself, like getting to that point where you're producing it, not that easy. Oh, it only takes five machines, is that all? So that's like a full live stream. I'm stuck. I love how people say things are easy to do when they're not playing the pack. It 
It's easy when you're the back seater. Me backseating never. What I mean is, anybody telling me that something is easy. When I'm the one that's playing the pack, I decide if something is easy or not. I decide that. But if you're also playing the pack, well, you can decide for yourself in your playthrough if it's easy or not. Right now, just making charcoal, which is an easy thing, is not easy. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, how did that happen? I don't know. Hopefully everything's good. No, it's raining. Stupid blood moon made it so I couldn't sleep through the night. So now we get rain. So both of those are going. We do need to get ourselves wood for our next batch of charcoal. And since we don't have that machine up and running that's producing wood yet, we're going to have to grow some trees again. Have I figured out the plan to automate charcoal? Not yet, but we haven't even looked at that plan yet. We are trying to, we're building a room right now so we can set up the crop manager to collect wood. And once we have wood coming in, then we'll deal with that. Or once we have it set up so it's collecting automatically, then we'll deal with that. We're just not there yet. We've uh, been doing some other things. Quick before the wood gets wet. Uh, all right. So choppy the trees are next goal for now, and then this will probably be the last time we have to do this. I can say that with some confidence. That this session of chopping trees. Oh, do I have? Yes, I do. This session of chopping trees will be the last time we have to manually do this for charcoal.
All right, that watering can, saplings, this axe, and that. Okay. Yay, the tree makes it so we're not getting rained on anymore. Stop making flowers, just grow the tree! You think Max should decide if things are easy or not? Come on, grow! Chat, do you have any good plans for this weekend? Like, who's doing what? I am not doing anything myself other than playing decked out, I'm sure, all weekend long. But I'm curious what you guys are doing. Heard you talk about on Wednesday. Sounds like you're starting on the process one step at a time, right? Oh, it is scary time, isn't it? It's no longer rain time is what time it is. Relaxing, playing Starfield, crocheting, preparing lessons for school. Are you enjoying Starfield, Esteem? I assume you are. I feel like I should give it another try. Maybe I'll play a little bit in my own time. But be between like playing all the Minecraft that I do, I really don't have a lot of time for games outside of when I stream. You're already having some of the same trouble as in Skyrim. Too much to do and too hard to focus on the main story. I mean, that's a good problem to have, honestly. If you never run out of things to do in a video game, that's kind of a sign of a good video game. This weekend is a medieval festival in the area? Oh, that sounds fun. I've never been to, like, one of those... You're going to a big conference trade fair. That sounds interesting. Crazy Pikmin, you're watching the new hurricane? You're talking about Lee? Everything that I've seen so far has Lee projected to like not go into the States, but like it's still too far away to say with accuracy. But like all of the hurricane models are basically in agreement that it's not gonna be coming here. But I guess we gotta wait a couple more days for certainty.
Yeah, what do they call those uh, medieval festivals? Um, man, they usually have a specific name. Uh, it is escaping me right now. A renaissance fair. There you go. Yeah, one of those would be interesting to go to. I don't know, like, how into it myself I would be, but I've never been to one, so I'd be interested in going to one. Pouring concrete at the in-laws, that sounds like a grand old time. If you do any, they have a dead Bob show. Watch it, what's a dead Bob show? We are just barely into MV. stuff that's a lot of stuff this one piece of coal is driving me crazy get out of here coal exit my game Much longer we go on this. Oh, we're just about done. How close are we to leveling this? So it'd be like one or two more harvests of wood. I think we'll do that. We'll keep we'll keep um mining logs until this thing dings, and then we'll call that good. Whether or not we get an actual level or not, we'll just keep going until it dings. Is goal to do Stargate? No, the goal is to play this pack. Is to have fun, enjoy myself, experience something that I haven't played before and deal with people asking me if my goal is to get to the scar Stargate. And if I'm going to make the healing axe and piston boots and whatever else items, like everybody's literally coming here and ask me every day. I think the one thing that I'd like to do at a renaissance fair, if I did go to one, is I don't know if they would sell it, but like have some actual mead. Like just check out like the medieval foods that they, I'm sure they would be selling there. I think that'd probably be my most interest in it. Giant turkey legs good at a renaissance fair. You thought the goal is to get a prime subs? Well, I can't keep that going for forever. You boozer hypno, you never knew? Because I'd like to try mead? <laughs> okay.
Hey! We're done, boys. That means we can make that axe unbreakable now. Which is kind of bittersweet because uh, we don't need it anymore. <laughs> but we can do it. I mean, I guess we'll eventually want all of our tools the best they can be unbreakable or whatever, like every single one of them. I don't know. We'll probably still make that tool unbreakable, even though we technically won't need it. But yeah, we got seven modifiers, and then if we change one of the parts to obsidian, that'd be enough for us to get Unbreakable. I am fairly sweetened. Yeah, the elusive modifier. I think we dinged it twice in the last stream, and it, both of those didn't give it the modifier. I don't know if it's like when the tool is a certain XP level, like it's every other ding it gets a modifier, and then after a certain amount of modifiers, it's, it's every other one or, or like every two or every three or something or if it's just random definitely don't know enough about this pack to know that kind of stuff no oh my god guys i left a floating canopy that means we have to start a brand new playthrough now. It was a good run, but now this playthrough's over. Can't fix that. <laughs> I guess that's right. My axe did break on the last... I'm fairly certain it broke on that last harvest of the trees. It's the only way that would leave a canopy like that anyway.
Your Tinker's Hammer is made of TPV alloy and vanadesium steel and has 79,000 durability. Ooh, look at me. I have a vanadesium steel alloy tool that has 79,000 durability. Ooh. I'm so much better than the noob streamer. All right. Yeah, that material is the hardest. It's so hard. Just an example of how you don't have to repair often. That's fair. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> okay, 61 stacks. That should be enough that we don't have to worry about it for a minute. Okay, so we were in the process of digging out that room. Let's go resume digging out that room. Actually, I need some cobble stone. Hypno just being Hypno. Sir, I take offense to that. Okay, we got plenty of stone being smelterated. So the room is supposed to be 17 by 17. So we need to go in 17 blocks. One. No, two, three, four, five. Now we go in 17 blocks. No, we go in 16 from here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Back wall. Okay, so then. 17 minus 5 is 12, right? So then we go 6. Seventeen minus 5 divided by 2. So we go 6 blocks in on either side. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 5. This is very confusing. So this is two, three, four, five, six, and then the wall. Because we're gonna place wall up against. Okay, so I think we just take this all the way to the end. It shouldn't be as confusing as what I'm making it, but 
my brain is not working right now, so it's extra confusing for me. Numbers and math is hard, all right? This is your brain. This is your brain on Greg Tech. Any questions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm gonna. Yeah, okay, I think I was doing that wrong. <laughs> Trying to get all the dimensions right the first time. So then we do one, two, three, four, five. And then we go in six blocks. Plus the back wall would be seven. All right. Now, normally I'd be voiding this cobblestone, but since we have been using a lot of it, I'm going to just continue making the dinging sound. For just a moment, we're gonna put it into the drawer. What's this cave for? Cave? Do you not know what the making of a brand new room looks like? Oh my goodness. Imagine calling that a cave. So we need to go up four blocks. Well, I guess we're just gonna dig up three. Stupid dirt. Who put this pile of dirt here? What the heck? This is gonna hold essentially our tree farm. Oh, I can actually go up one higher. I need to go up one higher. Okay. It's good to know that I can do that from the ground level, though. This... I think this wall needs to go away. I'm going to worry about that later. Let's get the bulk of this done before I, like, worry about the finer details. It's a beautiful brand new room. That's right, not a cave.
Ding 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 ding. It's a cave until I give it a proper floor. I'm gonna give you a proper floor here in a moment. I don't even know what that means. I would love that. <laughs> So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So this starts here. Yo. And then I think the torch. One. One, two, three, four. I am so confused. I need this. This is what I need. Let's get rid of this cobblestone. Let's actually do this right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, which means that is the corner. So this would be the edge here. So how big is this room? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. How did I go one too many blocks? I didn't go enough blocks on one side. So it's supposed to be seventeen by seventeen, and I've gone one too many on one side. So here's the center point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Center point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well, we found the mistake. So, two, three, four, five, actually, let's get rid of this. Two, three, four, five. So this is it's really bothering me that this isn't mm -hmm. same thing on this side Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means our next wall should be there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there are walls right there. That makes more sense. It makes sense to me anyway. And that's the important thing. I don't, it doesn't matter if it makes sense to you guys. You guys are probably like, what the heck is this guy even talking about? But as long as it makes sense to me, that's all that matters. That means this is wrong. You know, I could just use my builder's wand to make this easier on myself. I should probably do that. Oh. Should probably do that. Ha!
Maybe you'll get some of that cobblestone that I put away in. Gosh, it feels like you don't even pay attention. Okay, so this wall comes all the way over here. Supposedly, this comes all the way over here. So how are we doing on this direction? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You know what? I've already miscounted. Let's do it this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I hate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I still need to push this wall back one block. So wall needs to be back one block so we can put the proper back wall block in its place instead of stone. Mm hmm. So now we should be able to do that. Wait. Wasn't that last block I just placed 17? No, I gotta do this again. We're gonna do it here. One, two. So that's our second block. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. So yes, actually this wall need to be pushed back two more blocks. So let's do this so I don't screw it up again. Wait. No, that was right. 17 should be this white block. Yes, that should be 17. Okay, <laughs> so now I won't be able to screw that up again. Hopefully. Counting with Hypno and he still can't even count. What a noob. All right, so just for sanity, starting at this white line, one, two, three, four, five, six, and starting at this white line, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the width is correct, and I have assumed with me recounting the back wall like 15 times there that that is correct as well. Nope, that's wrong. All right, so this technically can just be whatever block. Same with this one. Whoops. Okay, 
Okay, I think we are good to fill this in now. Hopefully. Out of blocks. Now, I was going to fill in the center part here. Actually, let's leave these torches here. I was going to fill the center part in, but this is just all going to get removed anyway because all of this center part is just going to be dirt. Uh, no, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, we're going to have a three block area. Like a so. Okay, so everything else in the center is gonna be dirt. Hypno, the roast carrots and potatoes are ready whenever you want them. We what? I'm only making the farm one level. I guess I can convert all of these floor blocks into wall blocks. This pick block mod is so bad. Guess we're gonna fill this up full of dirt because I don't have any more cobblestone on me. It's a room now. I did it. We still got to replace the ceiling, but. Filling in three more layers of dirt below the planting block will speed growth. Extra nutrient modifier for more dirt blocks? We can do that. What's the plan for lighting so the plants have enough light? We'll figure that out when that becomes an issue. I'm just building the room and setting things up for right now. That's not something I'm considering yet. All right, we will go grab some more dirt and make that three blocks deep on dirt there. I didn't know that was a thing.
Trying to decide how I wanted to do this. I guess we can do it this way. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so now we got a big patch of earth underneath us. Four dirt blo Oh my god. Seriously? You did this to yourself, chap. I take no responsibility. Because I'm not a responsible person. If I take responsibility, then that means I have responsibilities, and I, I just I'm not really about that. I'd rather not have responsibilities as opposed to having responsibilities. I swear, if after I'm done with this, the chat says, oh no, it's actually gotta be five, I'm gonna freak out. I will literally freak out. All right, we're four blocks deep on the dirt. It's gotta be five? Just kidding. Actually, him, no, actually, it's gonna be ten, actually. That has to be 69 layers. Nice. Nice. Um... Actually, I should check down here first. They do stack with something. Mob drop. Oh, but I got more stuff here. Okay. 
So now that that's all done, how are we doing on charcoal? 47 stacks. We are stacked. Right, so... The center of this should be the center. And then one, two, three, four, five. The sixth block, that should be the center, 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 center. So that's where this little baby goes. All right, so we need to provide source blocks of water. So I guess we're gonna... Where did I get string from? Is that a spider right here that's just kind of like spinning around circles constantly? Did it just like shed a string? I'm not sure. I can feed it water, but then that adds another complexity and I don't want to generate water. If we do this, then I just don't have to worry about it. I think I have extra buckets. Ow! Guys, this spider's being mean. Stop. Rude. All right, you're dead. But my efficiency. The problem is, like, how do we feed it water and power without losing? We have to feed it power, we have to feed it water, and we have to extract blocks. That is three faces that we need to deal with. This is four faces, and then we don't have to feed it water. Or this would be four spaces, I guess. This thing broke? What? These things break too often. Oh, I put my iron away. Broken again. You just make a vanilla hoe, it lasts so much longer. Okay, so I need four lily pads, which I'm sure we have. What am I gonna make a proper way to go down to the basement when it makes sense to? When we have the machines and we can just make it when I'm not going to spend like five hours trying to make all the machines to do it specifically for that reason. Removing some blocks is not a problem for me. Uh, lily pads. I'm sorry. It's a problem for you though. No, mobs can't spawn on cropland.
I could make a staircase. I could make a ladder. I could. I guess we power from the bottom and extract items from the top. I think that's what we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need an LV steam thingy there. We don't need to feed water to it. We need one of these, a basic steam turbine. We don't need, yeah, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, we don't need it. I can guarantee you that we will have way too much wood here as soon as this thing gets turned on regardless. It was 10, right? It kind of sounds like you're a little bit worried since I said uh, we're not doing it, we don't need it and don't worry about it, and then you keep asking about it. I'm saying. Just saying. All right, so I need eight copper wire. And then we're gonna need two, four, six, seven, ten cables. Um, can I split these apart? No, of course not. Why would I be able to do that? Uh, John, you're really worried? Okay. Well, don't, don't worry. It's fine. Don't worry. Everything will be just fine. I might as well make eight of those. Okay, that's done, that's done. Oh, I needed the rod, so we need six pieces of iron. I could just, no, I don't have the file. I was gonna say I could do it right here, but I don't have the file to actually do it. The lathe is really slow. Lurch, welcome back. Thank you for the two month resub, dude. Lurch 1977 just resubscribed for two months. Welcome back, dude. All right, so I need nine steel and two rot. Do nine steel, two rot. Do I need anything else? Bronze fluid pipes. We don't have any of those. So bronze fluid pipe is six. I should make a few of those probably. Uh, all right. Oh, I needed to... I need to play to fight this stuff. This is more important right now. 
We'll do those and we'll throw the bronze in there once this is done. And then we can craft some other parts while that's doing the bronze. How do I deal with the Florida heat? Well, I'm an indoor human. But I don't mind the heat when I go outside, but I'm not outside for like extended periods of time. All I know is I don't like when I have to go somewhere, it's like freaking cold and then I have to put on like a bunch of layers and all this stuff, like, I've never been a fan of dealing with that. I would rather be able to walk outside and just exist as opposed to, like, not being able to. Mm -mm -mm. Basic steam turbine. Let's go. Uh, so this, does it say how much this uses? Two liters of steam equals one EU. Consumes up to, okay. So we can use these pipes specifically to put steam into this. And we got enough of those, so we should be good. I need a wrench. It's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit in the UK at the moment, and you think you've got mild heat exhaustion. We're not built for here over here as nothing has AC. I mean, you could get AC, right? I'm sure they sell like AC window units or whatever. Like everybody that I've talked to in the UK acts like it's impossible to get air conditioning. And I just find that extremely hard to believe that there is no way to get air conditioning there. Like all the existing buildings that were built hundreds of years ago probably don't have air conditioning, but I'm sure that you can get it installed. It's not worth the cost for only a few days a year. Well, if it's not worth the cost and it's not worth complaining about it either. <laughs> That's the way I see it. I don't like being uncomfortable. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, there's a huge difference between it not being worth and just not being able to have it. I agree with that statement. You absolutely can have it. You just have chosen not to have it. So the steam out is here. So I feel like we run that pipe down back around and then over to here, which is going to look kind of weird. But we will make this work. But yeah, you can get yourself like a window air conditioning unit. I believe here in the United States, you can get one for like probably $150. Like they're not, you know, break the bank expensive. Sure, you might not have it, have the money to just willy nilly go buy one. But they're not, like, ridiculous. Like, if you wanted one, you absolutely should be able to get one. I assume this works, right? Yeah, it looks, it looks weird, but it works.
I can't really go back down that path now though, so I guess we will just block it off and just pretend it doesn't exist. You don't have the same windows in Europe like you do in USA? I don't understand. Either way, you should be able to find a unit that will work. I'm not saying you can buy one in the United States that will work in Europe. But I can guarantee you there is a way that you can get it to work. I'm sure you can critical think your way into making something work. So the steam turbine has steam in it. I should. Oh, you know what? The dot was pointed up, wasn't it? Or pointed down? Let me uh, break this. It needs to be like that. Okay, so now we have power. So the only thing we need to do at this point is plant the crops and then deal with the output. It's too hot to critically think. Well, come fall when it cools down and you can actually use your brain at full capacity. Think ahead to next summer so you don't have to complain about the heat. <laughs> I don't know. To me, it makes sense, but you know, I mean, everybody's different. Uh, I'm not going to have enough crops or I'm not going to have enough saplings. And I've been throwing away those extra saplings because I didn't want to store them. And now I regret Well, we're going to chop some trees, but it's not really for the wood. It's for saplings. <laughs> Guys, what's 11 times 11 minus 5? Juice Red, I just resubscribed for 30 months. 116. Yo, Juicy Red Eye. Welcome back. Thank you for the 30 months and 116. So I just need an, like two stacks of saplings, is essentially what I need. Okay. You saying many saplings, legendary art attack, or just reminded me of that Leroy Jenkins video from like forever ago, that old wow video. The guy's like, left side, many whelps or whatever. I immediately thought about that when I read many saplings. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> okay, stop dots. <laughs> more dots, more dots. Stop dots. Um that's the 50 DKP minus, if I remember right.
And how are we doing on saplings? Oh, that didn't that didn't yield me nearly as many as I thought I was gonna get out of that. What the heck? That's true. I should space them out for more saplings. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. And you, you are right. Oh, it's the big old tree in the face. Well, I guess I don't have to like, I can just grow one at a time. I don't need to like do a bunch of them. Uh, both of these are going to break. Great. Great. Fantastic. Perfect. I didn't grab any of the repair materials that I needed. This guy I should stop using. We need to turn this one into an unbreaking axe. Not you. One more tree. Uh, maybe I should do a couple of trees so we have like a little bit extra in reserve. Oh, I left that floaty canopy too. I need to take care of that. I forgot to do that earlier. Oh, it's so freaking high up still. Have exactly two stacks. I'm gonna plant a little bit more, get like two and a half stacks just so we have some regular saplings in reserve. Yeah, I'm sure it will eventually produce saplings, but the problem is how long it takes for it to grow the first one. And we might need wood before that. I don't know. I'm just thinking ahead and being prepared. 24 is enough. Oh, I actually have two saplings in here too. can come out of here i gotta clean this up i got like lots of random junk in that i should not have that yeah nobody wants to run out of wood that's for sure Okay, so I guess we can do the crop stick areno thingy. I would plant all the crop sticks, but I know. Oh, if these don't have enough light. Do they just immediately pop off or do they just not grow? It says can grow. Yes. in all of these. I 
I don't know if the can crew says no if there's not enough light. Anyway, I just remember uh, when we did this as a test before. I don't know if I jumped on the on the crop land or whatever, but it seemed like these unplanted itself, or at least one of them did. I am probably just jumped on it. It doesn't say anything about not having enough light, so maybe that's like some different hidden stat that doesn't show. But yeah, I want to make sure that I don't plant all the sticks first and then plant the saplings because of weeds. Oop, definitely don't want to do that. Oh, this was a mistake. I should not have done this. Oh, I guess we're fine. Jumping on crops is bad. Running is bad. Ooh. So you're just not supposed to even like touch these plants essentially. But weeds only happen like if you don't have something planted, right? You don't just randomly get weeds. Once this starts going and we are into our first harvest, we're going to have so, so, so much wood. We're going to have to call our doctor. We're going to have so much wood. What? He, he, he said wood. If you have wood lasting longer than four hours, please contact your doctor. Yeah, I don't know how much light we need. It doesn't say... I mean, I guess we could just look at the growth, right? Because it's growing in all of these. I, I probably don't need this torch here, honestly. Because we're going to need a pipe coming out of that to go into wherever we are collecting. I don't know where we're going to collect. But we need to get like a drawer set up. Oh, we also need to work on food. There's so many things we need to work on. Uh, how are we doing on charcoal? 33. Had like some random thunderstorm this morning at like 6 a.m. The flashing woke me up. Like the thunder was hardly anything in the background. I keep I keep putting stuff away and then it puts all my iron away. Yeah, 
Anyway, I woke up a little bit earlier than I wanted to this morning because of that thunderstorm. I'm a little tired. What do I do with this stuff? Why is this in my inventory? I don't know, but I've been wanting to like sort that and I can't with this stuff in there. All right, saplings, this mob drops, crops, pipes. Uh, did I make extra pipe? I guess I must have. Tin keyboard. Flowers. Wrench. This thing. That thing. This thing. Okay. So these fluid cells. These we'll just throw into here. Drawer. That's what we're doing. I was like, what are we even doing? We need a drawer so we can store wood. We need item pipe so we can take the wood and we're going to need a place for saplings too. Guys, with the Greg Tech pipes, is there a way that you can say go to the first inventory first? Or is it always just random or round robin? It always goes first in line. That's perfect if it goes first in line. Yeah, if it always chooses the closest inventory that it can insert into. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So... Tin plates, huh? Really don't know how many of these pipes we need. I'm going to go ahead and make three recipes worth, though. Yeah, so first spot that it's available, that's just like IC2 did, so that it makes sense. I just don't know. Oh, we actually have more than what I thought we did. I guess I don't really need this then. Let me stop this. I'll make enough for one more recipe, I suppose, just so we don't have random pipes around. Or plates, I mean. I didn't realize we had these other pipes. No, IC2 isn't based off Greg Tech. IC2 was first. Greg Tech was an add-on mod for IC2 before it became a full-fledged mod. IC2 was the original. I guess I'm going to need this. And then we're going to need... Does it automatically push items or do I need to extract using a conveyor? I think machines have that setting where you can like tell them to push, right? It doesn't have a setting here. Most do, crop does not, so I do need a conveyor. Do I have an extra conveyor? I do. It's fine. I can just use this one. Whatever. Um. So we have a drawer for wood. We need a drawer for saplings. And then overflow beyond the one stack the 64 stacks of logs we need that to go into a furnace to auto smelt which we'll worry about 
And then saplings, we need a void. Okay, we'll worry about this. It's going to be a while before that fills up, but that's something that we're going to need. So log, sapling, and then extra will figure out where those go. Do I need a screwdriver for items? Oh, I can't, I cannot even right click on this machine anymore now. Great. Are storage downgrades in this version? I think it, there are. Oh, shift click with an open hand on the conveyor? Not on the side, but on the X thing. Okay, cool. So we're importing into the pipe. We're always on block input. Okay. So now I need to put one log and one sapling in there. So we designate which one is which. All right, see. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Have a good sleep. Hopper out the top. Are there uppers in this? Oh, that must have been blocked by something before. Someone suggested hopper extraction. But a hopper goes out of the bottom, not out of the top. The bottom is already blocked by our power. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. I get it. Somebody offering suggestions that doesn't know. It's fine. Okay, I think we should be set up as far as like the farm is concerned and gathering wood. We're at stage two of three. And we're doing more growing, so any time now we actually should be getting some. Or does it have to go to three of three and then go to 100%? I actually don't know how these work. It just goes to three of three. I'm just trying to find out which one is like the highest growth one. This one's at 68. One's at 72.
This one might be our one that will grow the fastest. I'm not entirely sure. You're only about four hours late. Well, welcome. Is there a way that you can get more information out of these bonsais? Like other than the tooltip, is there like something you can right click on them? Is there like, I assume there is. Oh, we won't be able to see that as like a scanner, but we won't. I'm not talking about like the seed. I'm talking about the plant so we can see the conditions of the plant. Is that an HV? Is that what we're talking about? Hey guys, virus and threat protection, Windows Defender summary, Microsoft Defender antivirus, and I find any threats in my last summary. You can't use watering can. We tried that when we first set this up. Oh, this one's at 88. That's faster. 91. Yeah, since chat told me that like planting dirt further below and all this stuff like improves, I assume there's like some kind of way you can get a readout that says plant is in good condition, it has this going on, this going on, etc. So I'm curious, okay, so we're at max size and it's an optimal harvest and that didn't take very long to get harvested. And we have 12. There's not a lot, but this is going to be going all the time in the background. This means that I won't have to chop trees again. Dark Smiley just subscribed. Yo, Dark Smiley, welcome. Thanks for dropping your Prime Gaming sub. Did another one just grow? Did I just see that? We now have 24 logs in here. 35. It's happening. It's happening. You need to go to work again? You just popped in and say hi. See you next time. All right, Donovan. We'll catch you later, dude. Yeah, so ideally I want this to go all the way up to 64 stacks of logs. So whenever we need wood, we can come in here and grab that. Everything else beyond 64 stacks, I want it to go into a furnace to be smelted into charcoal. And then we need to take that charcoal that we're smelting and throw that into our boiler. Or boilers. I honestly don't know how fast this is going to go when everything is like up and running if we would actually be enough here to support that or not Gonna need to move water outside if I plan to run another boiler? No, I could just double the amount of tanks that I have. Don't be silly. Don't be a silly goose. So we have a stack and a half of wood already. No, I don't want to use the charcoal pile igniter anymore, if, as long as we don't have to. Okay, so we have wood coming in in the background. How are we doing on charcoal right now? We need to worry about our food. That's the next thing. 25. Let's go collect our charcoal. Set up another thing.
Yeah. Yeah, we have just about 64 stacks of wood out here. We have enough wood to like run this thing a few more times. Oh, my shovel broke. I want to read chat, but I'm like, I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> Dang it. Why do you destroy all the dirt? What? The questions that get asked in chat sometimes, it's just like, what? Uh, right now we're not piping wood into coke ovens. We're going to be piping that into some kind of a furnace that smelts into charcoal. Oh my goodness, this again. Do you mind? We're just going to be piping into a furnace to turn into charcoal that's going to go into the boiler. Later on, maybe we'll change that up to go into... Into coke ovens? I don't know. Not yet, though. We don't have coke ovens to do that for one. That is not what I meant to do, dang it. Ah! Oh, all the best clicks, no.
You know what creosote is really nice for? Putting into a trash can. Fluid trash can. That's my favorite thing to do with creosote. Our next batch of charcoal is on the way. Okay, fifty one. We're going to make some food next. We're already up to 12 stacks of wood. That's Nash. And 51 spruce saplings. Do, do, do. I'm playing on 2.3. I don't really need that bookmark there. So we are going to be making... These are all out of order. Okay. And then beef Wellington. So beef Wellington is made with dough, spinach, mushroom, and beef. Beef. I guess it is about time to go murder some cows, huh? We haven't done that in a while. Uh, we also need the murder tool. Do we have a murder stick? I mean, I guess we can use our broad sword. It does have looting three on it, right? Does the murder stick have a better looting on it? I don't remember. What was that thing called? Like a butcher knife? <laughs> the meat o -matic. Electric butcher knife. Yeah, so butcher. I don't remember what... Is it? Okay, I thought we were turning into a blood moon again. Do I not have a butcher knife anymore? I'm not seeing it. Alright, well I'm just going to use my looting sword. Wait, our cows are over here. I'm going too far this way. Hey, Chet, did you know if you throw an egg at a chicken, you're guaranteed a baby chicken? I think I hit the horse. I keep trying to do that while right. Is that a witch in there? 
I have a witch in my cow pen. The heck? Who wants some wheat? I guess the Coven Witch does. Get out of here, sheep. Quit trying to take my cow's wheat. Everybody get some wheat? I'm still giving some cows hearts. How have I not clicked them all yet? I think we're good. There's so many animals. Oh, I'm still holding wheat. Okay. Get murdered. Let me turn down the sounds a little bit. Sorry about that. I just realized I couldn't really hear the music over the sound of these animals. Like Is that something that the butcher knife prevented? Okay. How many, how many stacks do we need? Uh, so that's like two, three, we need like five stacks. I just don't want him to blow up the babby cows. Oh, my baby cows. Okay, I'm not going to do any more. I need to make sure we still have a population of cows here. Never has a cow blown up on you? Okay, so we- oh, I didn't grab a watering can. I should have done that. Uh, I don't think we need tomato or lettuce. I don't think we need anything else. We do need the spinach for the beef wellington, though. But actually, no, we need lettuce for this, don't we? Uh... We need lettuce and tomato for that. Hey, I'm no first time watching you live and seeing your face cam. Well, first time me being live and seeing your username in my chat, I guess. Welcome, I guess. <laughs> uh, so I don't need leather. Put that away, put that away. I do have some tomatoes, uh, some spinach, one lettuce. Let me grab cop on. 
But let me grab my watering can. We need to go get a stack of like the lettuce, tomato, and spinach. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Ow! Where's that chicken? Where'd it go? Where is it? I'm throwing this egg at you. Boom. Baby chicken. It just, it's invisible. It spawned invisibly. Okay. Yeah, once uh, tan leather starts becoming a thing that we have to worry about, like getting a lot of, then I'll worry about it. But I'm not just going to start making random things for no real reason. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of things that I could work on, but do I need to work on them right now? I think that we got more pressing things, honestly. Yeah, just do a rocket and get titanium for no particular reason. I mean, that's chat in a nutshell, honestly. Grow faster! Can I do IC2 crops out of like every single crop? Or is it only specific ones? Well, I don't need this one to grow, but I need like all of the eight surrounding ones and that one to grow. Is that one ready? I'm not sure. Hey, I resemble that remark. I mean, you're so offended by your cruel and unusual commentary. What? How can you be so sure that the watering can has any effect? Well, look at these that are all like growth 0% that hasn't had watering can on it, right? That's how you can be sure. We just need one more of these to become mature and then we can move on to the next crop and then do the same thing. Uh, hello, Gideon. Nice to get you again. How have I been doing? I've been doing well, dude. Been doing pretty good. Do I have any bone meal? I know we set up that skeleton farm a long time ago and I could go over there and like farm bones. Am I not doing the quest book? I am doing the quest book. Am I doing the quest book right this second? No. Oh, why am I right clicking those without my my sword? You fool!
So, Paul, are you telling me that you have played the entirety of this pack without growing any food yourself and you've only lived off the food that was given to you through the quest book? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Because I am calling into question if you've even played this pack at this point. If that if that is in fact what you're trying to tell me. Oh, there we go. There's the healing axe comment for today. done there just make the infinity helmet <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how you have been able to play for so long. Maybe you enjoy like having multiple chests full of like random foods that the game gives you or something. I don't know, but I prefer having just the best foods so I don't have to keep eating like multiple times. But honestly, I don't know. I don't see being able to get through not eating at all in this pack with how much I've had to eat in this pack, so. The reason why I don't want to make the healing axe is to trigger people like you who come in here and say that I should make it. That's literally the only reason. But I'm not going to make it regardless because we have good foods that are easy enough to craft. But seriously, since day one that I've been playing this pack, Literally every day, somebody has been in here, you should make the healing axe. And then started into, you should make the piston boots. And then mixed with all of that is, so he he he, are you playing until you can make the Stargate? He 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 comments like, it's just so old. Oh yeah, Glider was another one, I think. Yep. Like the amount of backseating and repeat comments that we get in here is just absolutely ridiculous. I've never had an experience in any other pack where people are just so like ridiculous about it.
Do I have a goal for this pack? To play it. <laughs> to experience the pack for what it is and enjoy it. I don't know if I'd say passionate is the correct word. I can think of a few other words, but I don't know if passionate is one of them. I don't have an end game goal that I'm going to play if I reach a certain point because I don't know how long I want to play the pack. I don't know what the pack, the progression is. I could quit playing this pack today. I don't know. I don't have a goal. I'm just playing the pack. Um, I don't have any more dough, do I? How do I make dough? Sugary dough? I don't want to make that. Dough. So in a mixer with water, that might be an issue, actually. Uh, how did we do this before? I can do this manually with fresh water. Can you get fresh water? You can get four of them per bucket. So we can do it automatically this way, or I can make a bunch of fresh water. And then save. I don't, I guess, I guess the first question is how much water have we saved up? So this has got about 60 buckets and oh, and this one's got 60 buckets. Okay. So we got two of them. They're actually saving up water now. That's good. Do, 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 do. And those are the only two that are saving up. Just these two. Interesting. So between them, we got about 120 buckets of water, which is only two stacks worth of dough. We could be four stacks and we do the fresh water. Wait a second. No, two fresh water makes one and in the mixer. You get two of them. The mixer is actually the better way of doing it. Yeah. Okay. Drop flour into a water filled crucible for a third of a bucket. Does that actually work? I don't remember if we ever tried that before. If we can do that, that's the way to go. All right, let's make a whole bunch of flour then. Um, up to five. So I'll just do four. Uh, no. Yes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh oh, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's happening. It's happening. It happened. Mm -mm -mm. It's the floof. It is. Kitty kitty. Yeah, we made a whole bunch of tanks last live stream. Uh, because our railcraft boiler that we decided to create was drinking way too much water. And we were at a point where 
it was literally down to a third of the internal tank of water remaining before we were able to like stabilize on water. And it was either like break the react or break the boiler and take it from a thousand Celsius down to zero and start over again, or just make a whole bunch of tanks to try and get the water going so it doesn't run out of water. Yes, I, I know that magic. Yes. I know. It says it right on the tooltip. And I am perfectly fine with making that many water tanks, even though they are not efficient because they can't see the sky because they're cheap and I just don't really care. Kitty kitty. And you can't see anything. Your cat is standing right in front of the screen. Oh no, I can still add more tanks. We were just in a frantic mode of just trying to make tank after tank after tank to stabilize our boiler so it didn't run dry. Kitty kitty. <laughs> You had one chuck tower with water tanks, lol with railcraft tank as buffer. I don't know what that means. Oh, one chunk? You made a full chunk of water tank towers? You made a full chunk tower of water tanks. Got it. That is a lot of water. Kitty kitty. Max no for the win, such a nice kitty kitty. He is a very sweet kitty kitty. He is just like zonking out. Just spaced. All right, kitty. Can I put you down now? Can I put you down now? You get your, your attention. All right. So we can just drop this in a cauldron, huh? That is really good. I don't think we did that before. I'm pretty sure we actually hooked up the mixer and did each recipe individually does max like catnips he does how long is this taking oh 30 seconds Ugh. takes so long i did that one time when i made dough and then you forgot about it when you found the mixer recipe oh i you're probably right you're probably right I need a stack of mushrooms. Mushroom. Can I grow those in here? I need dirt. 
Dirt McGirt. I think this room is tall enough. Bones? Bone meal. We have some bones. I don't see any bone meal. Oh, mushroom right in the face. Twenty extra, that should be enough. Okay, so we got our stack of mushrooms. One stack of beef wellington. Oh, you know, I'm going to need another stack of mushrooms, aren't I, for the mushroom bacon burger? We should go breed the cows again, too. That's a lot of food. Well, we stock it up and then we don't have to worry about it for quite some time. Actually, you know what? I've been using this, which has luck on it, but I don't know. Yeah, that only gives me looting. Looting is not what I wanted. I need one that has... I should have been harvesting with my axe. That has fortune. That's a mistake. Do, 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 do. Hello cows, I'm back. Who wants some wheat? It's weird how that Coven Witch doesn't make any sound when it takes damage. But like right clicking on it makes the <laughs> sound. That's really loud. Just kind of weird. She was just chilling. Well, now she's chilling in someplace else that's nicer, I'm sure. I've played Witchery mod. A long time ago, an Infinity Evolved Expert. Long time ago. Am I doing streaming YouTube full-time as a living? Yep, been full-time content creator since 2015. I've been making content longer than that, but that's when I went full time and quit my job. Doo, 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 doo. 
Witchery is in regrowth as well. It might have been. I don't really remember regrowth too much. It was a long time ago. So you make hamburgers and then you add things to those. And then the cheeseburger, you add things to that. So we got to make hamburgers. So I need to make a bunch of toast. And toast is made with bread. And bread is made with dough. And dough is made with two doughs. Do, 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 do. Hello. Silly game. Wait for another stack. Wait for that stack to finish, I mean. So you can say that bread is made with dodo? Yes. Okay, magnet off. Beep. Beep. I'm on 2.3. I don't really plan on upgrading the pack either. And then we furnace it. Did I have any extra toast? I seem to recall like we had some leftover things. Was it toast? I do have some extra toast. There's no reason for me to upgrade. I've been playing modded Minecraft long enough where an upgrade isn't always an upgrade. A lot of the times it's more of a downgrade. Mods get taken away. What have you. I'm pretty sure in 2.4 they removed extra cells. Uh, who are you to tell me what I should and should not be using in my modded Minecraft playthrough? But either way, there's no reason that I need to upgrade. Like, the pack runs perfectly fine as it is. I'm not worried about it. Most of the stuff that's been changed is, like, far later into the pack than where I am anyway. So, like, it's whatever. I just don't care. Chat seems to care a lot more than what I do, that's for sure. But personally, if I don't have to upgrade, and there's no real benefit... I don't.
All right, so to make a burger, oh, I need a skillet. Uh, are we? Should get this done too. Why is that? Oh, I gotta turn this into this, right? Uh, where's my skillet? So, toast, skillet, raw beef, boom, hamburger. Throw it on the ground. Then we need to make some cheese. How does one... Oh, actually, I guess we can make the rest of these burgers. Doot, 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 doot. Alright, how do we make cheese? I don't remember. Whoop, that's not... That's weird. Oh, maybe it did change. I just wasn't looking when I pressed the button. I don't know. All right, milk. Fresh milk. Thankfully, we have two stacks of fresh milk right here. So it is fresh milk plus edible salt. Uh, did we have salt somewhere? Rock salt, salt. Salt or rock salt. Salt, rock salt. Salt Peter, not that stuff. I thought we went through and got a whole bunch of salt somewhere. I'm not seeing it. Just mine cheese door, just go to the moon already. Let's do it. Just make a rocket and fly to the moon and just do it. So this is with water, fresh water and a bucket. So we could do that actually. Wait a second. This might be the better way. A pot. Fresh water and a pot. I have the pot. Okay, that's how we did this before. Let's put all this stuff back then. Buckets. We have buckets, we have the pot. All right. Eventually, we will make ourselves a staircase or an elevator or something, but until that day arrives, we are mining gravel. Am I out of inventory? I'm out of inventory. Oh, I only get one salt? I thought I was getting more than that. Oh, I need to do fresh water, don't I? That's what it was. I turn this into fresh water and then you get four per water.
So 48. Uh, so I need 16 more. So four more buckets of water. Where'd my pot go? It's on the ground. Now the salt is for the cheese. Oh, you know what? I think we have cheese on, yeah, we have cheese on like four different things. Is this a cheeseburger? Bacon cheeseburger. Okay. So I need one, two, three, four stacks of salt actually. We need just a bit more here. Nope. Nope. Would a kitchen sink help with this? Uh, I don't think you can get infinite water out of kitchen sink in this. Is the kitchen, is the cooking for blackheads in this? I don't know. Maybe it would help, but it would take a lot longer for me to like craft all that stuff. I think we're essentially done right now, but maybe for next time. Uh, you got to pipe water in. How much does the sink hold? If you have to pipe water in, does it hold like two buckets or something? Kind of silly that you can use fresh water to make salt. It is. But it's also kind of silly that putting gold in a plate bender takes a real long time to like turn into a plate. Whereas putting in like steel is much quicker. That doesn't make any sense. But then again, Minecraft isn't about realism. All right, cows, have all the wheat you want. Eat up. Except for the baby cows. The baby cows don't get any. I think that's it. None of this has grown yet. What? Well, I didn't use that much wheat. I thought I was going to be using a lot more than that. You know, now that we've gone into crop managers, it might make sense to set up another one. Oh, you know what? We should see how that's doing, by the way. We should set up another one for like wheat and like all these foods that we're doing if we can. How are we doing back here? How's this going? 36 stacks. That's pretty good.
How are we doing on this? 27 remaining. <clears throat> okay. So next step. We actually need to go visit those cows again. We need to get a bunch of milk. I forgot to grab the milk when we were out here like a dummy. But yeah, like Minecraft is not based on reality in any stretch of the imagination. Just think about how much a cubic, a meter cube, a cubic meter thing of stone, let alone 64, let alone full inventory or gold or whatever. Like it's not based on reality. So like your argument's just invalid if you're trying to, trying to say that's not realistic. I love how they make extra sounds when you right click on them. There we go. Alright, that's our two stacks of milk to go for our cheese. You're mostly talking about Greg Tech recipes? Well, I mean, Greg Tech is based on a game that's not based on reality. Okay, so we have the milk. We just need a pot and put the salt in there with the milk. Because that's how cheese is made. Boom. We have all of the cheese now. Mm. Oh, I still have another stack of beef on me. Okay, so cheeseburger. We need... Oh, we got another... I don't like these spiders. Oh, and this one is a special one, too. Did you just web? Oh, my God. It webbed everywhere. Disgusting. Gross. 40 stacks. Uh, five. Okay, string that this. Oh yeah, I was coming in here to grab the toast or the bread that needs to be turned into toast. Yeah, but in Minecraft, it's not. There's no rennet. There's no citric acid. You're just putting salt in the milk, and boom, 
you have cheese. You don't have to strain the way. You don't have to do anything. You just have cheese. The bacon cheeseburger, is, oh, that's made with cooked. Okay. Do, 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 do. So I guess I should make a new butcher knife. Butchery. Knife. That's why I couldn't find that before when I was searching for it. Uh, what do we want to make this out of? Maybe aluminum? Do I have aluminum plates? I have diamond plates. Silver, iron... Do, 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 do. Four plates and a rod. We can do that. Can I make vanadium steel yet? I don't know. That's not something we've made. It's not something we've had to make, so probably not yet. Do, do, do. Where's the hammer? Right there. It only has looting two on it, lame. Looting too is better than booming cows. That's true. Yeah, I don't want like if the babies were separated from the adults. I don't know if it would make a big problem. I don't know if looting gets applied to the cows that get blown up by the exploding cow. If looting doesn't get applied, then yeah, you definitely don't want it. If it does get applied, then it wouldn't be bad if the baby cows were away. It'd be faster overall. happening it's actually happening wait is it happening i think it's happening wait it's happening no how is that on the bottom i'm clearly pointing on the hitbox was stair placement really this bad in 1.7 How am I supposed to place this stair facing up? Is 
some stupid. Oh, I placed that wrong, didn't I? Okay, we graduated from having gravel blocks that I have to keep breaking. <laughs> I finally got fed up with it. All right, have a good sleep in the Lex. We'll catch you later. Oh, uh, what is this that I got? A dropper. Do, 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 do. Goodbye, Gravel. Sleepy, sleepy time. The biggest thing that's holding us back right now is the lack of wheat that we have. How do we unbail him? And an extractor. Oh, okay, let's go do that. Extractor is one of these machines, I am sure. It's right there, I found it. Ten years later. At least you get night at once. Yeah, it's still slow. Technically better than going out there and holding a watering can waiting for wheat to grow. Technically. Okay, so we were gonna make cheeseburgers, I think was the next one. So, skillet. Skillet this, that. Hamburger. Cheeseburger. And then we need to make a bacon cheese. Do I have any more beef? Can I make a bacon cheeseburger out of something else besides? Yes. So pork chop or tofu or mince. Cooked mince. Oh, we can make it out of like literally anything. Oh no, that's that cooked human. Oh no, that's, that's bacon. Wink. Wink. I'm gonna go breed the cows again. So I'm gonna throw in this. Cooked ocelot meat. Wait, what? Stop hurting yourself, horse. 
You know, maybe I should just throw my horse into the cow pen instead of like going all the way over there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Who wants some wheat? All the pabby cows want wheat. Gotta do this. How come some of them are dying in one hit, but some of them aren't? Am I not getting my crits on them? I'm not sure. I think I did miss that crit. No, I created that one for sure. Maybe some of these just have more HP. I don't know. All right. Oh, I need my horse. In hindsight... With how many baby cows are remaining, I probably should have left the adults and done another breeding or two before killing them. I'm sure it'll be fine, though. I'm sure it'll be fine. We need some more cooked food. What else do we have in here? If we could get like, um, tofu automated, that would be pretty awesome too. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Just don't look. It's fine. How do we make mints? Yeah, it's just the thing. And... Cooked mints, cooked mints. We'll cook these others. Your base is in a rainforest biome. The ocelots are a menace. Are you killing wild kitties? Is that what you're doing? I'm going to tell Max. And he's going to have a stern talking to with you. Your gun turrets are? Well, I mean, that's essentially the same thing. You own them. You set them up and you know full well that you didn't whitelist the ocelots. That is just rude. Poor wild kitties. Accidental cat burgers. All right. So now we do, oh, I don't have the toast. Actually, I don't need toast. So it's cheeseburger. Plus that makes the bacon cheeseburger. And then with that, we add a mushroom for the bacon mushroom burger. How many bacon mushroom burgers do I need? Almost a full stack. Not quite though. I don't have the dirt on me still. All right, so we are going to do 
some of this. Mushroom. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Ow! Guys, mushrooms are mean. That one just like hit me in the face. Mean mushroom. All right, uh, bacon mushroom burgers. How many did we need? We need a stack minus nine, however many that is. 55. So there is 55 bacon cheeseburgers plus some mushrooms. There's a bacon mushroom burger. Boom. And then we can put in those. Wait, how do we make the bacon? Oh, they gotta be cheeseburgers, don't they? Cheese, burger, this mince. Okay, how do you do it? Oh, it's without this. All right, so burger, cheeseburger. So I didn't make any deluxe, and the deluxe are made with the cheeseburger plus this. So probably we should make that. So 32 plus three more. Do, 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 do. That, 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 boom. Okay. I mean, we're looking pretty good as far as food goes. We just need to fill this one up and fill that one up. Uh, so I guess, uh, well, I was going to say, I guess I can make some more burgers, but really we are waiting on wheat and dough. We have two stacks of dough here. Magnet is off. Uh -huh. And that, that dough. You're fine until he started stomping on your crop sticks. Did you set up your base outside without any walls or whatever with grass around? I did that too. Do 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 do. All right, we're gonna make a trash can here. Oh, what did I just do? How did I do that? Did I? I didn't jump, did I? What the heck? Did I run on it? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I should have made it bigger than three wide around so I could put like some kind of a fence or something. We might rearrange that room and make it so it's like four wide so I can put a fence. Uh, I need another spruce sapling. Alright. Yeah, 53, that's pretty good. Down to 15 stacks. That's not very good. So 
First time joining this pack stream and seeing this pack. Is there any reason beyond just having a lot of sweet hamburgers for making all of these? Uh, because these are the best foods that you can make at this point in the pack. Yeah, we have spice of life. So, like, if you eat a certain food multiple times in a row, it essentially stops giving you any benefit from eating. So you have to eat multiple different types. So we are basically making multiple different types of the best kinds of food, essentially. I mean, hamburgers are good. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm a big fan of hamburgers, but I'm not making them just because I like hamburgers. It's because like you can craft one and then it has another craft where you just add one more thing. And now you got like two things and you add uh, lettuce and tomato to another one, and then you got another type of recipe, and like, it's just easy to snowball using the same base ingredient or the same base food, and then just add things to it. Any scarecrow or other farm type thing that stops trampling exist? I don't know. How long is regrowth pack for a beginner? Regrowth is not an easy mod pack. Um, a lot of people seem to like it though. For a beginner, you probably, I mean, I didn't, I didn't finish the pack, so I can't give you like an estimate for that. I got really fed up with regrowth with the changes they made to applied energistics where you had to use like forestry. Was it like the, um, what are those things even called? These things, the electron tubes, like they completely changed the applied energistics recipes to like be full of this stuff. This recipe is different for this pack, but. Like it was just a big pain and I wasn't enjoying that portion of it. So like I stopped that pack early, but I would venture to guess it's a hundred hour pack. I would venture to guess a hundred hours, but I'd never finish it myself. So I don't know, maybe it's longer than that. With all this leather, I need to put this in a drawer. We're just getting too much of it. Where do I want to put these? I don't know. Just find a home for it, I guess. Is FTB Infinity Evolved still the best expert pack out there? I wouldn't say it's ever been the best. I would say it was my favorite. There's been a lot of expert packs that I've played over the years that have been good. Like the Project Ozone 2 and 3 are both pretty good. It's a lot of just hurry up and wait here. I guess we should go grab some charcoal. The problem with infinity evolved expert is like i mean it's what i liked about it but for a beginner the problem is with that pack they don't really tell you how to do things it's kind of like we've changed all the recipes go explore nei and have fun that's what i thought was pretty awesome because it's like oh i'm just gonna go ahead and make this oh this thing requires me to have this so let's go make a machine to make that oh but this machine requires me to do this and this and this and this and so on and so forth. So like you go way down the rabbit hole and you start making the things at the very end. And you're like, what was I even doing to start with? Like to me, I felt like that was super awesome, but like a beginner probably wouldn't. Is 
It's not only got to be an expert at crafting, you got to be an expert at looking up recipes and remembering where you are and what you're doing. <laughs> but aside from that, like, they could have added a quest book. or Did they add a quest book in uh, the Skyblock version of it? I can't remember. If they had a quest book in there, I think it'd be, like, a lot easier for, like, somebody newer to play it. But it's still an expert mod pack. And it's probably not great for beginners. Yeah, they might have added a quest book for like the sky block and then maybe backported that for the normal. I honestly don't know. I didn't grab wood. Dang it. I do that like almost every time. Actually, I need that in my inventory. I need this. Yeah, Infinity Evolved Expert was like the first expert mod pack that I'm aware of. But I was absolutely in love with that pack when it came out. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I still like the pack. I think it's a great pack. It's just made on 1.7.10, which is not like the best version of, of modded Minecraft. It was the version that was around for a very long time, but yeah, I think the newer versions are probably a little bit better. One seven ten has a lot of cool mods. The platform itself isn't that great because the base game isn't that great. Oh no! Yeah, 1710 had a lot of really good mods because, like, for whatever reason, at that point in time, vanilla Minecraft was not updating very regularly, I seem to recall. I could be misremembering. Oh, yeah, uh, it wasn't updating because they were... No, I was going to say they were doing the adventure update, but that's beta. I don't remember why it took so long. For the modded community to move on past 1710. But anyway, it was like a period of like three years or something where where modded was only on 1710. So there's like a lot of mods being developed at that time for this platform. But yeah, the performance of this version of Minecraft is not great. It just got a lot of really good mods on it. I'm still kind of amazed, like, the newer versions of Minecraft, just vanilla itself, just how smooth that game runs compared to, like, how it used to run back in the day. Like, it, like vanilla Minecraft these days feels really good.
can't see you, but I can feel you all the time. One seven ten was the last major version before it got acquired by Microsoft. Is that what happened? That might be. That might have been the reason then. Yeah, I can't remember. That was like so many years ago. Super speed. Uh, okay, skillet, those can go in here, that goes in here. Yeah, this is 1710. Yeah, you can't find Greg Tech New Horizon without 1710 at this point in time. I don't know if there's ever any plans to update this game or Greg Tech itself to a newer version of Minecraft. I doubt it. Yeah, item IDs got changed to tags at some point. Yep. Yeah, you know, you no longer spawn in like 173 or whatever for TNT. You spawn in Minecraft colon TNT. Actually, I think TNT was like lower, like in the 60s or something, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Any pack suggestions for a beginner? You, I would recommend as somebody beginning to play modded Minecraft to either play a pack like Stoneblock or a pack like um, Sky Factory. Sky Factory 3, Sky Factory 4. Those would be packs that I would recommend. Stoneblock or Sky Factory are very well geared for beginners. There's also a pack designed by the FTB team, I think called FTB Academy, which is literally for people stepping into modded Minecraft for the very first time. But I guess it just depends if you're interested in like being handheld that much or not. There's a group playing with the 1.19 Greg Tech, but it's in alpha right now. What is it, Greg Tech Community? It can't be this version of Greg Tech. Even though they're like similar to somebody who's not like intimately familiar with Greg Tech, they are different. <laughs> now we need FTB grad school. And you get Lordcraft. Okay, so we were working on bacon cheeseburgers. Um, I guess we go see if there's any of those cows that have become adults now and see if we can breed them. Can't see any of the cows from here. Looks like there's some adult cows in here, which is good. Make it the baby. It is your duty 
to make more caps. Lordcraft is actually the worst part of Project Ozone 3. <laughs> Definitely can't disagree. You thought Lordcraft's okay just getting started was annoying. Embers was the worst part than Lordcraft. You know, honestly, I used to think Embers was really awful too. But like once you've used the mod, like for the first time, like as a person experiencing Embers for the very first time, it's awful. I agree. But the book is actually very helpful with the mod. When I first experienced Embers, I don't think there was a manual. I don't think there was an in-game book. But Embers in Project Ozone, I do believe, has a book that basically guides you through everything. Yeah, I don't find the mod fun either. It is pretty. And then dealing with, like, the hammer to link the receiver to the emitter thing, like... Th all of that is very clunky, and I'm not a fan of it. But I don't think Embers is as bad as it used to be. But it's not good definitely not good i'm not a fan of it but yeah i feel like it used to be way worse like it got better yeah the thing about lordcraft is learn your alphabet learn your abcs and then the stupid npc like dimension <laughs> it was like awful i am your god I command thee to go kill five spiders in return. Now go kill seven zombies or whatever it was. I don't remember. It's like so stupid. <clears throat> you really liked Astral Sorcery and FTB interactions. Yes, Astral Sorcery is is quite a nice mod it's more complex than you would expect and it's very useful especially the ability to uh do the t the tick acceleration the tree farm is also pretty cool i don't remember what pack it was i did the forestry tree farming it might have been interactions for the was it the the ghost saplings or ghost logs or whatever spirit saplings i can't remember what it was all right bacon cheeseburger so i need some cheese obviously we need some cooked beef Actually, no, it has to be mince, right? Bacon cheeseburger. Cooked mince, and then we get mince from, like, anything. Yeah, so I can mince this beef. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop clicking on the wrong thing, so I just need less than half a stack. 31 of those. Okay, so 31 of those plus this. Let me go cook that. Yeah, there's Thomcraft in this pack. Mm -hmm. Our very first live stream of this pack, we ran into a hungry node that killed us. It was like towards the end of the stream, like we had got situated, made all of our stuff, and then we get sucked in and dead. It's like I forgot these things even existed, let alone that was something that we had to watch out for.
yeah feeding hungry nodes crafting tables and stuff i i don't know like how much of that we need to do like how much thomcraft is involved we haven't even touched thomcraft yet in this playthrough i think we just unlocked the ability to do something with it but i haven't really been looking at that like i've just been playing doing stuff as we need it like right now we spent a good portion of this stream just restocking our food we're just playing the game, having fun, hanging out. That's what we're doing. Oh, I need to grab that mince, didn't I? Did I not put the mince in? What, what happened? I'm confused. What did I do with it? I put it in the wrong machine. That's what happened with it. Oh, I'm sure we'll have to get into Thomcraft at some point. But I've done Thomcraft before, so I kind of know what to expect. I don't know how the recipe changes are going to be with it, but yeah. Like, I mean, it's been a long time since I last done Thomcraft 4, so it's... I'm sure... Or Thomcraft 3, whatever version this is, I can't remember. I'm sure I'll have to relearn, but... Replaying the game, having fun to you. It almost feels like something that got lost in the newer mod packs, but you can't quite put your finger on it, what it is. Right, so there's a unique thamanamanamanamanamacon for this pack. We'll have to check it out when we get there. Uh, we need skillets. So skillet, beef, toast. That's what we're doing, right? So burger, burger with cheese, cheese with cooked mints. All right, so cheeseburger is the only thing left. We need like 45 of them, All right? 45, 35, 45. Boo, 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 boo. No, I was still off by 10. Imagine being off by 10. That's embarrassing in front of all these people too. Oh my God. I'm never going to be able to show my face around here again. Look at that. Look at it. Are you looking? Because it's beautiful. We're done. Our food supply has officially been restocked. All right. That took a while, but it was something that we needed to do. So I'm not like upset that it took a while. And now we can get back to other things like uh, charcoal and stuff. Man, is it really almost 7 p.m.? How long have I been streaming? Six hours. When's the last time I strum for six hours? I don't know. I have been streaming a long time. I have been. I think we're going to call it here. I think I'm going to sleep. We're going to call it here. Actually, before we call it here, a uh, trash can. We wanted to make this. I need seven iron plates and an ender pearl. 
Do, 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 do. Because our wood supply is gonna back up and we need to fix it. This is not iron, by the way. I just made zinc plates. I was like, that plate does not look right. This is what we needed. Now we got zinc plates. <laughs> I'm so used to just going into a chest and looking for a color of an ingot. In this pack, you gotta kind of look for the color and verify the color. Zinc? Sounds like something. It should be in a battery. Do, do, do. Isn't that what galvanized aluminum? Isn't that what they put on that? Zinc? Like a zinc coating? I don't know. Trash can. Oh, let's grab another pipe. Do, 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 do. It is good chemistry, Hypno. Thank you. I'm a chemistryologist. Oh, it didn't connect. I I didn't bring a wrench because I thought it would just connect if I place it on the pipe. I guess only Greg Tech things connect automatically to Greg Tech things. M disappoint it couldn't let me have that one thing all right well we are full up on logs 64 out of 64 which is pretty amazing how are we doing on the saplings i didn't even look at that it doesn't really matter but i'm just curious six stacks okay well, the next step is we need to take those logs and start charcoalizing them. And apparently I was mistaken by saying we just throw it into a furnace. We are going to have to make a bunch of Coke ovens. That might be what we work on next stream. But guys, that is it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Well, we played some Greg Tech New Horizons today. We'll be back on Monday for our next stream. Have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. You better have a good weekend. No, if you don't. <laughs>